hi guys um so we have some interesting news from the world of youtube and creators in general um evidently um less than an hour ago boogie 298 came out um on a live stream with keemstar and the other members of the local podcast and was i guess supposedly um exposed as having lied for the last two years about can having cancer and i'm i'm currently having a debate about how to feel about all this because on the one hand i want to give the, i want to give the guy the benefit of the doubt because even if he doesn't specifically have cancer, he's still sick. But to use a cancer diagnosis or a possible cancer diagnosis as a um, smokescreen to basically gain, gain sympathy and everything else, if you do that, you're pretty much done with me. I mean, I'm sorry, you're pretty much done. I, I can't. So... <clears throat> Two years ago, Boogie made a video um, talking about how he had gone to his doctor and had been told that his blood had markers in it for polycythemia vera, which is a cancerous condition. It's a blood cancer. It comes from the bone marrow and everything else. And so you can't really treat the blood cancer, but you can treat the side effects that make it more likely you're going to die. So, because what polycythemia vera, polycythemia vera does is, for the most part, it um, increases platelets, um, increases blood pressure, increases a whole lot of um, comorbid symptom um, conditions that, for a guy like Boogie, or even a guy like me, if I were to get it, would be more dangerous than a relatively healthy person so you don't really treat the cancer you treat the symptoms that can cause you to have stroke heart attack other things like that so about a week ago boogie comes out with a um crypto coin and shills it right he, he pushes it he promotes it he wants people to buy it mainly people who are already investing in cryptocurrency currently but um, the coin pushes above what he was expecting it to. Part of that was probably because some viewers were buying into it. I'm sure a lot of it was a pump and dump type deal that these companies are known for, that this company in particular paid Boogie to promote it so that they could make a, pro make a profit off of the pump. Um, so everyone was kind of unhappy with him for that, right? So then um, the whole thing kind of dies down. This is just a week ago that all of this hit, and now um, we got a double whammy because now we got Boogie on stream, on live, um, basically saying, I never said I had cancer. You, never, you said you had a diagnosis for something, that if anyone with a Google account goes and Googles it, it, it specifically says it's a kind of cancer. And yet you say, I never said I had cancer. I said I have this condition. I have this thing. And it could lead to cancer. In the stream with um, Keemstar and the other members of the Local Live podcast, um, he basically said, I have the starter kit for cancer. All of these things will lead to cancer down the line if, and it's like, so you don't even have a diagnosis. And he was saying something about, we're do, they're doing a confirmation. They're doing a confirmation. The thing that gets me, okay, so Boogie has been having financial difficulties in the past couple of years. He's been having financial difficulties in the last couple of weeks. Keemstar and a couple other creators that were on the live stream offer Boogie 
a combined total of eighty thousand dollars, eighty grand, to show the medical records that show his diagnosis. Now, this is coming from a guy um, who would also do his best to show records if that kind of money was being offered. But I have seen people do put in effort for less in order to prove that they have an unemployment case or that they have something else as a case that they can prove that they deserve a a, a monetary um, sum for. Boogie says, no, I have principles. I, I have my privacy. I want to keep my privacy. And yet just last week, just last week, here's the, the funny thing for me is, uh, and, and it's not really funny, it's sad, but it's it's funny in that it's weird. Just last week, Boogie has, has his girlfriend in basically what was a cross between lingerie and a swimsuit, a bikini, in the background of his video as he's shilling this crypto coin. Shilling out for a coin that he knows if the normies buy it, they're going to lose money on it. How is this? How does this make any sense, guys? How does this make any sense? I don't get it. Boogie, I, I, the other thing with Boogie, he has now deleted his Twitter. He says he's going to delete his other accounts. He's going to delete the, his presence on the internet. He's going to give money away. Um, which to me sounds like an end game plan. It sounds to me like he's planning to disappear because he's also planning on selling his house. He, he's been fighting to keep the house. He's been fighting to keep the place because that's the only place he's got. If he's planning on selling everything and giving away the money, then he's at an end game kind of deal. And poor Dez, I feel bad for her. I do. Because if he's actually going through with this, if he's actually to this point where he's going to end game himself and, and just be done with it, I all I can do is pray for the man because I have I have walked him through this once before. I have called him at midnight and been on the phone with him until 3 a.m., calming him down, talking him down because he needs to see that he can't do this to the people who love him. But I can't stop him. I cannot stop him. And I don't even know if I can get through to him. That's how bad things are right now. And I don't, I don't know that I want to try anymore. I know that's not a, exactly the most charitable thing, but I... At the end of the day, Boogie has to own up to his own consequences, face his own facts, I guess. I mean, I don't like it. I wish he'd have been telling the truth. If he hasn't been telling the truth, I wish he would have been. If he is telling the truth, I wish he would just show evidence that he's telling the truth. Come on, Boogie. Black out all the, all the private information and throw through Photoshop to black it all out and then send the documents to Keemstar. He'll put it out there where people can see it, where people know, yes, he were telling the truth. This is a legitimate diagnosis. Boogie, I'm telling you, you need to do the right thing. You need to come clean either one way or the other. Either you do have a diagnosis and you got the paperwork to prove it, or you don't have a diagnosis and you apologize and then keep chugging because people will respect you more for for apologizing and moving forward than they will for not apologizing and retracting your presence from the internet they will respect you more for being a genuinely apologetic person a genuinely honest and and straightforward person 
at this moment. Yes, they will still have some baggage from the, the last two years of lies, but if you come forward now and tell the truth, people will eventually find it in their hearts to forgive you. They will eventually find it in their hearts to come back. But only if you do the right thing. I'm telling you, you need to do the right thing. Boogie, I love you. I care about you. I want you to do better. I want you to succeed. But you need to come clean. That's all I got, guys. That's all I wanted to talk about. I will see you guys tomorrow in the next video. I just needed to get this out because this is a pretty screwed up situation. It really is. I'll see you again tomorrow.